Okay, another truck update here. I'll try to get this whole thing. This camera zooms in real far. So we got uh, everything all back together. I think the last video I had was all of it torn down and started put back, put stuff back on it. Um, no issues really that I could think of. The only only sort of issue I had was with the uh, gaskets, the ones that I was sent for the uh, oil, the kit that was sent for the oil, um, oil pan, all that jazz. Uh, comes in a kit and there's like two different uh you know configurations of this gasket for the uh the bed plate adapter or the adapter that goes uh from the square or rectangular block to this you know this curve piece here so between that and the bed plate you know there's one of those gaskets and there's two different configurations well the one they that was in my kit was there's supposed to be two in each kit I had one of them which was not the one I needed and the second one that was supposed to be in the kit didn't actually get put in the kit Ford actually packaged these things wrong and sent 7.3 get oil cooler gaskets or something anyways so after a couple weeks of trying to figure that out finally got everything back up you know with the right parts and put back now we're put back together a little bit here um, and painted everything you know all the the iron stuff that way it doesn't rust um, got everything pretty well clean let's take a look here um, so it looks really good and uh, I don't know how long that paint will last but um, we'll see it's uh, supposed to be high temp engine paint um, so that guy right there you have to have the special tools that you know Diesel Tech Ron and everybody talks about uh, Freedom Racing makes them whatever. I've actually got mine right here. So I ended up buying them because um, I just hated to spend you know like four hundred dollars or, or to, whatever it was two hundred dollars to rent these things plus shipping and all that jazz So I just bought that one. I bought the one for the front which is that dude super simple to install with that tool You just you bolt the, the little uh, you know alignment thing to this and then you slide the the um, seal and the wear wear sleeve on top of that, uh, and then you just crank it down till it stops with the the nut, and you know it puts it in there, nice and perfect. So, and I'll do the same thing on the back. Um, the thing with the back is, you know, I took the rear cover off so that I could take the bed plate, everything like that off. I also had to take the, I took the high pressure oil pump uh, cover off as well because I thought I was going to change this STC fitting out, but I have the, uh, I guess 2004 and a half version, which is the uh, the old aluminum pump, which nobody likes. Um, but everything else is updated, so I have you know like the uh, ICP sensor is right there. But, uh, so I kind of have the interim, you know, configuration, but whatever. So, nothing to do under there. Um, but I still did need to take the, uh, cover, the back plate cover off, like I said, to take the bed plate out. So, uh, now that I got everything back on here, and my poor stand is only rated to a thousand pounds, and, and these, <laughs> these right in here, if you can see... You know they got a they got a little bit of a gap there from the the weight <laughs> that this thing is putting on, so I ended up using my uh, engine hoist to help hold it up and a block of wood on the other side. So uh, can't wait to get this thing off this stand and back in the truck, which I'm ready to do. the The next thing I'm going to do is now that I got the heads back on, which was what I just finished, I got the little eyes, lifting eyes in there now. So I'm going to use my uh, wherever it is anyways I got one of those little uh, balancer things you know with a crank on it that uh, lets you tilt the engine back and forth and, and it's almost the right size so it you know stretches kind of from there to there I really don't know what that guy did. did oh there it is over there that thing the black part so put that on there that way I can lift the whole engine up take this stand off and the bracket off then I can uh, clean and prep this back area Put the back plate on, 
and then put the high pressure oil cover high pressure pump cover on high pressure oil pump cover on and then we're pretty much ready to stab it back in the truck the only thing i'm going to do first before i do that is uh install put the wire harness kind of laid over top and then there's a wire that runs kind of down here for the um oh which one is this where is it Doo -doo. that guy which is the crank position sensor uh so and it kind of it goes back in here so here's the here's the bolts right here for the uh, ac compressor so the wire kind of comes in behind it and then plugs in so i've got to put all that in first uh, because i don't i don't recall how difficult it is to get to these bolts uh, in the truck and when I pulled it out it was still on there so I'm, I'm gonna do it exactly opposite so and uh, a few more things so exhaust I put the, I'm gonna put those on before we go back in and stuff like that and the engine mounts obviously um, one thing I am gonna do and I've been doing a lot of reading on is a regulated fuel return I'm gonna I'm not gonna buy a kit I'm just gonna do it myself um, and you know that's one of the the recommended uh, upgrades you can do to help keep the everything cool and stuff back there and not boil that diesel I haven't had any problems with mine um, you know but since I've already got everything out and I can do it for about 200 bucks you know if you do the kit yourself well I'll take that back you can do it for 300 bucks um, just because I'm replacing everything I'm gonna get rid of these uh, these stainless steel uh, hoses or uh, hard lines as well and go back to stainless braided for everything make it look nice and uh, so I'm gonna get rid of those and then wire harness high pressure oil pump cover engine mount that's it so then we'll be ready to stab it back in so that's what I'm gonna do today is get it off the stand onto the uh, 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 engine puller get the whole back cleaned prepped put the back cover back on actually to do that part of the prep and clean is I got to get that that uh, there we go I got to get that seal off and there's like a little I think they call it like a dust cover dust plate that's got to come off so we'll take those off put the new one on or uh, sorry put the back you know clean and prep this whole area back plate on then I install the new seal with that special tool from Freedom Racing uh, high pressure oil pump cover put that on and then uh, I think that's gonna be about it I may try to put it back on the stand but I don't think my bolts are long enough now that I'm thinking about it so that might not work it may just have to dangle for a couple of days till I get ready to push the truck out of the garage and and give it a go so or I may try to I don't know if I, I'm not gonna set it down on that oil pump oil pan but we'll figure something out so anyways that's the update here so everything's looking good got her all back in so see you next time